welcome back to the channel where we turn your work from home dreams into reality. I'm Shane and today we're diving into the top 10 easiest work from home job companies that are always hiring. Now before we jump in, let me tell you a quick story. Picture this, a guy who went from living in a tent in a forest as a kid to rocking a 100k per year pharmacy job only to realize that the 9 to 5 job was sucking the life out of him faster than a vampire. <laughs> at an all-you-can-drink buffet. Well, that guy was me. And let me tell you, the day that I discovered remote work was like finding the cheat code to adulting. No more rush hour traffic, no more awkward water cooler small talk, and pants, well, those are optional. But enough about me and my pants optional lifestyle. Let's get to what you came here for, the golden ticket to your work from home paradise. Now, before we dive into this list, let me break down how I chose these companies. We're talking about frequent hiring, entry-level friendly positions, and work-life balance that doesn't make you wanna throw your laptop out the window. You know, the good stuff. Now that that's out of the way, let's dive into it. All right, first up, we've got Appen. And these folks are like the cool kids of the AI world, always on the lookout for human intelligence to make the robots smarter. And they offer a variety of positions from data collection to transcription. And the best part, most roles are super flexible, perfect for night owls, early birds, or those who just can't decide what time zone they wanna live in. And salary wise, you're looking at anywhere from nine to $20 per hour, depending on the project. And that's not too shabby for working in your PJs, right? Now, as for qualifications, if you can use a computer and follow instructions, you're already halfway there because they're big on attention to detail. So if you're the type who can spot a typo from a mile away, you'll fit right in. Now, here's what others are saying about working for Appen. This guy hit the jackpot with Appen, scoring a sweet AI gig that paid big bucks and led to more work. And his only gripe, waiting forever to get paid. And according to this person, tasks from Appen vary in pay by the hour. And to apply, head over to appen.com slash careers, and then look for a job that you like and apply for it. And a pro tip here is their application process can be a bit lengthy. So grab your favorite snack and settle in. Think of it as training for those long Netflix binges in your future work from home life. Next up, we've got T-Tech. These guys are all about customer service, which means if you've ever had to bite your tongue while dealing with a Karen in retail, you're already overqualified. And they offer a range of customer service positions from technical support to sales. And the salary ranges from 10 to $18 per hour plus the priceless perk of not having to physically deal with cranky customers. Now let's eavesdrop on some happy campers, shall we? This experienced T-Tech employee argues that the company is decent to work for, asserting that negative experiences are often due to employee misconduct or a misunderstanding of temporary positions. And he emphasizes that success at T-Tech comes from consistently meeting job expectations and understanding the nature of temporary roles, particularly in seasonal industries like healthcare enrollment. And a temporary employee at T-Tech reports having a positive experience despite initial concerns, noting that they performed their job without significant issues and any problems were eventually resolved. This individual's satisfaction with the company is evident in their desire to seek another position through T-Tech, suggesting that temporary roles can lead to continued opportunities. And the skills needed? a good phone manner, basic tech knowledge, and the patience of a saint. Oh, and also a quiet workspace. Your neighbor's death metal band practicing probably won't fly as background music. We're trying to have band practice here. But don't worry, there's actually apps out there that can drown out all background noise as well. Now to throw your hat in the ring, check out ttechjobs.com. And a pro tip is to practice your customer service voice before the interview. Customer service, please. You know, the one that sounds perpetually cheerful even though you're explaining for the hundredth time that no, the customers can't speak to your manager's manager's manager. Now, before we move on to our next company, I've got something special for you. I've created the 30 day remote job landing challenge, and these are going to be daily actions for success that you can take for 30 days to land a remote job. And this is a completely free guide that is packed with daily tasks designed to skyrocket your chances of success. And it's kind of like having a personal career coach in your pocket for a whole month. So grab your free copy by clicking the link in the pinned comment and the description down below. Now let's dive into our next company on the list, which is very well known, and that is going to be Amazon. Yes, the same place you order your midnight snacks and random gadgets from also offers work from home jobs. Mind blowing, I know. Amazon offers a wide range of remote positions from customer service to software development. So whether your skills lie in soothing angry customers or coding the next big thing, they've probably got a spot for you. Now pay does vary widely depending on the position, but you're looking at anywhere from 15 to $100 per hour for specialized roles. Plus you get to say that you work for Amazon, which is guaranteed to impress your aunt at the 
next family gathering. Now here's the lowdown from people just like you. A former sorting center employee highlights the job's benefits, including work-life balance, accommodations, and comprehensive benefits, but cautions about workplace politics. But they did find the position suitable for short-term employment while completing their education, suggesting that it can be a good fit for those seeking temporary work with decent compensation. And this warehouse worker asserts that Amazon is one of the easiest manual labor jobs they've encountered, particularly compared to other companies like UPS or FedEx. They suggest that those who complain about working at Amazon likely lack experience in similar roles. As to qualifications, it depends on the role you're after. Generally, they're looking for people who can work independently, meet deadlines, and won't be tempted to spend their paycheck on prime day deals. So to check out their remote openings, just visit amazon.jobs slash ing, that's E-N, slash locations slash virtual locations. And don't worry, we'll pop that up on the screen for you. And a pro tip is Amazon is known for its unique interview process, including behavioral questions. So before your interview, think of specific examples of times you've solved problems or dealt with challenges, and maybe practice saying customer obsession with a straight face. Weird. And by the way, if you like phone jobs, but you don't wanna to have to work at Amazon and you wanna make a lot more money, tech sales might be a really good way to get into sales that's not as intense as many other sales jobs. And if you're curious about tech sales, there's actually free training, which I'll put down in the description and the pinned comment below that's gotten a bunch of people that I've interviewed on this channel. So definitely check it out by clicking the link down in the description and the pinned comment below. All right, moving on to number four on our list, it's going to be live ops. And these guys are all about flexibility. It's kind of like the yoga of the work world, minus the awkward poses and sweaty mats. They offer a range of customer service and sales positions. And the cool part is you can choose your own schedule in 30 minute increments. So it's perfect for those of us who can't commit to a full shift because let's face it, sometimes a Netflix binge just can't wait. Or maybe you have to do things in your life like pick up your kids. Now the pay varies, but you're looking at around 10 to $20 per hour plus incentives. And it's not too shabby for a job that lets you work in your SpongeBob onesie. Now let's tune into the grapevine for a hot second. This person pointed out that working from home and customer service can be a legitimate way for individuals to earn money, with some companies paying around $17 to $21 per hour for time spent on calls. And you just need to get a background check and complete some unpaid training, but then you can set your own schedule by claiming available shifts on a first come, first serve basis. And for this live ops employee, he considered this better than other call centers such as NextRep. Now, as for qualifications, you need decent computer skills, a knack for customer service, and the ability to sound professional even if your cat is plotting world domination in the background. And to join the LiveOps family, you wanna check out liveops.com slash careers slash work at home. All right, halfway through our list, we've got Rev. And if you've got a good ear and nimble fingers, this might be your jam. Rev is all about transcription, captioning, and subtitling. So if you've ever watched a foreign film and thought, I could do better than these subtitles, here's your chance to prove it. Now the pay per audio minute ranges between 30 cents to a dollar and 10 cents. This does not mean that that's how much you get paid per minute. This is how much you get paid per audio minute. So the faster you can type, the more money you're gonna make. Now it might not sound like much, but it does add up faster the sooner you get good at the job. And this can be a good way for you to get some beginner experience and then move into better paying positions down the line. So let's get a sneak peek at what others are saying. A long-term Rever reports earning a consistent $600 weekly from part-time work at Rev, valuing the job's flexibility over a decade long career. This experience transcriptionist positive perspective contrasts with some of the other reviews highlighting that Rev can be a rewarding option for those seeking flexible, long-term part-time work. This captioner finds their job enjoyable despite lower pay, viewing it as a good entry point for learning the trade. They note that work quality and availability do fluctuate based on external factors like industry strikes, with movie trailers offering the best captioning experience due to clearer audio. So basically, Rev is a really good place to start out your transcription journey, and then later on down the line, you can make much more money doing other jobs on other websites. Now that that's out of the way, what are the skills that are needed? First of all, you need fast and accurate typing, good listening skills, and the ability to decipher mumbling that would put a hungover college student to shame. It's kind of like a pharmacist having to read doctor's handwriting, but in audio form. Now a pro tip here is their initial test is notorious for being tough. So brush up on your grammar and punctuation skills. And remember in the world of transcription, commas save lives. Don't believe me? Just Google let's eat grandma versus let's eat 
grandma. Now, by the way, if you want to actually make content instead of transcribing content, I do have a completely free YouTube masterclass, which you can check out down in the description and the pinned comment below. Speaking of transcription, the next up on the list is going to be Transcribe Me. And it's kind of like Rev's cousin who decided to focus solely on turning audio into text. And they offer transcription jobs with the occasional translation gig thrown in. And it's perfect for those of us who like to eavesdrop. I mean, listen attentively. And pay starts at $15 per audio hour, which might not sound like much, but remember, that's compressed in audio time not real time. Plus, as you gain experience, you can move up to higher paying projects faster than you can say double time. Now, qualifications, you need to have good ears, fast fingers, and the ability to resist the urge to add your own commentary to boring conference calls. Because trust me, it's harder than it sounds. Now, a pro tip here is they have a free training course. Make sure that you take it. It's like getting the answers to the test before you take it legally of course lucky number seven is going to be mod squad and no it's not a gang of trendy mods from the 60s although that would be pretty cool let's go, let's go. mod squad offers a variety of digital engagement services think customer service but make it much cooler you could be moderating forums managing social media or providing player support to video games and it's kind of like being paid to hang out on the internet now pay varies by project but typically you're going to get paid around nine to twenty five dollars per hour and that's not bad for basically doing what you do for free on Reddit, right? Now let's hear from some folks who've been there, done that. For this Mod Squad employee, this company offers flexibility and benefits, but comes with some job insecurity. Despite the freedom and conveniences, the company has a history of unexpected layoffs, making it not ideal for those relying on it as their primary source of income in some situations. For this person, this position offers diverse projects, flexible hours, and competitive pay, allowing her to expand her skill set across various client engagements. Now the skills needed include good communication, basic technology, and the ability to deal with internet trolls without losing your cool. So if you can explain to your grandma how to post on Facebook without screaming, you're probably overqualified. To join the squad, visit HTTPS join.modsquad.com slash careers. And a pro tip is they love people who are passionate about specific industries, platforms, and video games. So if you're a gaming nerd, social media addict, or you have an unhealthy obsession with obscure forums, make sure to mention it. Next up, we've got Lionbridge, and these folks are all about breaking down language barriers kind of like the digital version of the United Nations, but with less bureaucracy and more sweatpants. They offer a wide range of positions from translation to data annotation. So whether you're bilingual or just really good at labeling things, they might have a spot for you. And the pay does vary widely depending on the role and your qualifications, but you can expect anywhere from 10 to $30 per hour. And that's not too shabby for a job that lets you be a global citizen from your couch. Now here's the real scoop on what others think about Lionbridge. According to this person, any Lionbridge role shines as a flexible side gig, offering a great way to boost income without compromising other work commitments. However, this may not be ideal as a sole source of employment. This Redditor commented that if you're taking a map analyst role, your earnings are task-based, requiring a balance between speed and accuracy while strategically focusing on higher paying tasks to maximize your income. As for qualifications, it all depends on the role. Generally, they're looking for people with strong language skills, attention to detail, and the ability to meet deadlines. Oh, and a reliable internet connection too. So if you want to join the pride, check out lionbridge.com slash join our team. And a pro tip is they often have language tests as part of the application process. So maybe hold off on applying right after binge watching foreign shows with dubbing. Now, by the way, if you found this video helpful so far, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. It helps the channel out and it gives you good remote work karma. Moving on to number nine is working solutions. And these folks are like the matchmakers of the remote work world, pairing you up with your perfect work from home soulmate. And they offer a wide variety of roles from customer service to travel planning. And imagine booking someone else's dream vacation while sitting in your living room. It's like being a travel agent minus the tacky Hawaiian shirts. And the pay does vary by project, but you can expect anywhere from nine to $30 per hour. But don't just take my word for it. Here's what the cool kids are saying. A working solutions rep praised the job's flexibility and culture, but noted unpaid training and variable schedules. This product support expert pointed that he enjoyed working in working solutions because of its flexible time and work from home opportunities. And as for qualifications, you have to have good communication skills, a reliable internet connection, and the ability to resist the urge to book yourself on every vacation you plan for others. So head to https apply.workingsolutions 
Simmons.com to apply. And a pro tip is they love people with diverse backgrounds, so don't be afraid to highlight that summer job as a llama groomer. Next on our list is going to be Concentrics, and these folks are all about providing awesome customer service experiences, which is a fancy way of saying they'll pay you to be nice to people. And they offer a range of customer service positions across various different industries, so whether you're a tech geek or a fashionista, they've probably got something up your alley. And pay typically ranges from $10 to $18 per hour, depending on the position and your experience. Plus, they often offer performance bonuses because who doesn't love a little extra cash for being extra nice? So are you curious about what the word on the street is? Well, here you go. This Concentrix customer service role involved repetitive tasks, strict performance metrics, challenging shift patterns, and limited support. However, if you're aiming for a temporary position, this could be a good stepping stone to gain valuable experience in customer service. This employee describes their work from home experience as relaxed and enjoyable, with growth opportunities and a manageable workload, despite some initial concerns about monitoring. So basically, some people like it and some people don't. But with that being said, it's undeniable that this one is relatively easy to get into right off the bat. Now, some skills you need include good communication, basic tech knowledge, and the ability to sound chipper even when you're on your fifth cup of coffee and your 10th call explaining how to reset a password. And a pro tip here is they love people with customer service experience, but don't worry if you don't have any. Just emphasize your patience and problem solving skills. And if you've ever had to explain technology to your parents, you're probably already overqualified. Now, by the way, I included a bunch of other companies in this list I made a few months ago, and that's going to be the seven work from home jobs that are almost always hiring. And you can check that out by clicking right here.